So just this week, The CW released a brand new poster for the 2018 DC TV crossover. And you guys have been asking my opinions on it, my thoughts on the new Flash costume in that poster. So we're gonna talk about it in today's video. What's up guys, Eric here, and in case anybody forgot, it was all the way back in May during the CW upfronts that we got this tease and Batwoman coming to the Arrowverse. If you guys remember, there was a lot of oohs and ahs and excitement finding out that Batwoman was going to be a part of the Arrowverse, or at least the crossover at this point. A lot of us had speculated, myself included, that this was going to be some sort of a backdoor pilot into a Batwoman series. Well, lo and behold, it's not really a backdoor pilot, but it is the introduction to Batwoman going into a full-fledged pilot for the series, as we found out later on this year. But this was all the way back in May, and this was the poster we got. It's got uh, Supergirl... Green Arrow and The Flash standing at the forefront with the Batwoman uh, logo up in the sky in the background. Everybody was hyped. I was hyped. We were so excited for it. Uh, Super Supergirl, um, Green Arrow, and Flash were all wearing their costumes from their previous season. Uh, so we had not seen the new Flash costume at this point. Uh, however, this week we got a new poster for that crossover. And I have to say, I am probably most excited about the fact that we get to see um, the Flash suit uh, show up in a much better HD quality than what we have seen before. So here's the new poster. I know a lot of you guys have already seen it. Some of you may not have seen it, um, but it's, it's talking about the three night crossover event. And there's a couple of interesting things that are going on here. Number one, um, we get to see the new flash costume and it looks even better here, in my opinion, than it looked in the poster that we got, uh, just the other week. Um, and I'm gonna talk about my thoughts on the Flash costume after seeing it here, okay? Because I have some interesting thoughts about it. Uh, but we see Green Arrow's wearing what looks to be his costume from last season, Supergirl's wearing her costume, and we see the Batwoman uh, sky, the logo in the sky, uh, much larger, superimposed in the background for this special three night crossover event. Now, what's interesting here is we were, we were told that Legends of Tomorrow was not gonna be a part of the crossover of the season. It looks like that's the case. Uh, it looks like Black Lightning is not going to be a part of the crossover this season, which is kind of baffling to me. I thought they would have used this crossover to bring Black Lightning into the fold, but that's not the case. So maybe we're going to see something with Black Lightning later on. Like maybe they're going to add him in later on uh, in, in a smaller crossover with maybe one show. Because I really feel like... Black Lightning isn't really suffering. I mean, it's got a huge fan base, but I feel like they could be doing so much more with that series if they just did like a tiny crossover. I mean, come on, you did a crossover when Supergirl wasn't even on the CW. The Black Lightning is part of your lineup. Like, there's no reason why you shouldn't do some sort of a crossover. So we'll see what's going to happen. Maybe they'll try and work it out this season. I don't know. But we know that two of the five shows um, are not going to be are not going to be a part of this crossover. So that leaves us with Flash, Arrow, and Supergirl. Now, um, as you can tell here, Supergirl is going to be on Tuesday, December 11th, and Flash is going to be on Sunday, December the 9th. They're swapping places, which means that um, the story is going to start on the, the episode of The Flash going into Arrow, then going into Supergirl, which is kind of peculiar because this means that, as far as I can tell, Batwoman's probably not going to be on Earth-38. She's going to be from Earth-1 or a Earth that's connected to the multiverse that Flash needs to be there to to like find to, to open the gate up for her or to find out where she is or for her to find him. Um, because I don't see any other reason why they would switch it. If Batwoman was going to be on Earth-38, they could have easily started with Supergirl, which that's just my thought on it. So I guess this is kind of confirmation that she's not on Earth-38, but it's not necessarily confirmation that she's on Earth-1. Your guess is good as mine, but they've got those switched for a reason. This also tells me that we're probably not going to get a mini movie like we got with last season's crossover where we had, um, you know, all the shows sort of shared one story across all four. And it was less about individual episodes and more about just serving the story. Whereas here, it looks like they're going to not only tell this story, but they're going to serve individual episodes as well. So it seems like they're changing it up a little bit. But I have to say, I really, really like this poster. Kind of interesting that they did not, um, they didn't change the pictures for Supergirl and Green Arrow, but they did change and add the new uh, Flash costume. So let us take a better look at the Flash suit um, here. Now, you guys know, I put out two videos about this. I was very critical about the suit. 
I missed the chin strap on it. Um, I thought that that was probably the biggest, like my biggest complaint about it was there was no chin strap. And everybody seems to think that's such a silly thing to complain about, but we're talking about aesthetics. We're talking about the costume itself. So there is no, in my opinion, there's no silly complaint because that's really what you're, if you're discussing that, then, then there's no complaint that's silly. I mean, it's, it's just, everybody can have their thoughts about it. You may not like the way the shoulders look or the way the belt looks. I think every complaint is valid when you're talking about your thoughts on the, the look of the costume. So for me, the chin strap was very jarring. I didn't like it in any of the photos I saw, saw of it. Even some of those um, on-set photos that we saw uh, on on uh, Twitter that several people did videos about, which I was going to do a video about, and then I just decided not to. Anyway, here, though, I actually think it looks good. I do. I think it looks good as it is right here with the lightning effect around it. The the suit itself just looks... the The form fitness of the suit, to me is the crown jewel of the suit itself. Like, I love the, the way the gloves have the uh, the embellishments on it. I love the way the belt looks. I can't see the boots in this photo, but the boots have a very similar style of lightning bolts going down into the front of the boot and then all the way around the back. Seeing it here, I actually really like it. I like it without the chin strap. I think that it looks great without the chin strap here. I still feel like the top of the helmet is way too large. I think it's way too large. I think the helmet itself needs to be made of the same material as the suit. That's really, now I'm thinking that's really the only thing that's bugging me. I think the top half of this needs to be made of that same material as the rest of the suit. Now let's take a look at this side by side with the other posters flash costume so we can just look at the two costumes and see what we think about them. So here is the costume from the other poster. Um, this is the season four costume, the costume, the, the altered 2024 costume that we saw, uh, last season and seeing it here. Um, I have to say the helmet is obviously just another, a, a remnant of the original helmet, the design, the molding, everything pretty much looks the same, except that there is no, uh, it doesn't come all the way down. Now, you guys may not know this, but in the scenes where uh, Grant Gustin has this the mask on from season four, where he's got it on and he's got it off, those are two different masks completely. The one that's laying down, like a hoodie, that is a mask that is designed to lay flat. Uh, the one that he has on when he's doing the scenes, that's the mask he has it on. It's not very easy to put, take on, you know, put on and take off. So that's part of the reason why they did this new design that we're seeing in the suit here, where it just kind of sits on his head. Because the, the bottom half of the mask goes up around like a scuba suit. We saw that in the set photos. And then the helmet goes on top of it. I'm not a fan of that. I would much have I would much rather have the, the actual fabric from that spandex or whatever it may be come up over his head and form the mask. And then maybe just give him, maybe just put a hard plastic under the front to make the, the visor stay flat against his face. Um, but I have to say I'm not so, I'm not missing the chin strap so much in this costume it just looks so good you guys it looks so good um when paired against the season four suit in terms of how it fits him the fit is just so right the fit is so right to me um so i have to say i'm actually more of a fan now of this suit after seeing it in this poster than i was seeing it in any other photo um of course they probably doctored it up a little bit airbrushed it made it pop a little bit more um, but I still think it's really good. I think it's really good. So, um, let's take a look at the full poster again, uh, before we go here. And I have to say that I'm, I'm a fan of this. I think it looks really good. I'm kind of excited for it. There's gonna be a lot of speculating. We're probably going to get some more set photos. And we also got some other information about a guest star in this crossover, which I'm gonna do a separate video about, which will probably go up shortly after this one today. Um, so anyway, what I want to know is your thoughts on this poster. Do you like the look of the poster? Do you like the new Flash costume? Because that's really the only thing that's different in this poster compared to the, the first one we got. Um, what do you think of the way it looks now? What do you think about the missing chin strap? I think, I'm thinking it's kind of cool because it comes down under his jawline now, like under the bottom of his neck. Um, they need to make that helmet flatter though. It looks so like, it's like a biker helmet. You know, like you see somebody riding a bike one of those protective helmets. That's what it looks like. And I don't want it to look like that. I want it to look like a flash mask. So um, they still have to kind of work on that for me. But I want to know your thoughts on this. So down in the comments below, let me know what you guys think about this. And are you excited for this crossover?
what do you think the what do you think's going on with Flash and Supergirl switching places? Because I think that's also kind of interesting, and it kind of tells us that this might be a multiversal thing instead of just something happening on a different Earth. Um, so yeah, kind of excited. Uh, but anyway, it's your turn. Go down in the comments, let me know. And I can't wait to read what you guys have to say. Uh, take care. That's all I got for you in this video. And I will see you in the next video.